All right, it's time to get started. State of Decay 2, Nightmare Zone, Episode 6. Got my soda, fed my cat, so hopefully they don't make any noise, and it's time to get back into it. Update on the other videos. Medicine, the compositing is done. That's basically where I take all the snippets and clips and all the footage I have and then assemble it into the the body of the video. It doesn't have any of its special effects, though. That's basically the next step. And after that, it's just reviewing it to make sure everything is correct. And then it's done. Then I can render the video and upload it to YouTube. The, uh, the medicine video... It's coming out a lot better than I thought it would. I thought it was going to be kind of dull, but honestly, I put in an intro into it that I thought was pretty funny. And the flow of it is pretty good, especially once you get past the discussion about the different levels of the infirmary. When you actually get to the experiments where I should demonstrate what all the medical features do when you have the different medicine skills, uh, surgery, and pathology. So overall, it should be a pretty good episode. So as you can see, we got our texture pop in, because this is being recorded from the Xbox. And what we're going to be doing today are... We got to get rid of these plague... Not plague arts, these um, infestations. Like, last time I was playing, I was complaining that there's not enough time to do what I want to do, but that's not true. I'm just not prioritizing time-sensitive issues. That's the real issue here. I should be prioritizing the important things, which are the growth of the plague, uh, the infestations. That is what I should be doing, because, you know, we can get influence, we can get other stuff whenever we want. We do have medicine now, so that means we actually can upgrade this to level 3 if we had the 20 parts. We have the cases of chemicals. We still need a repair kit as well. We have to drive kind of carefully. Let's put this back. We can put this in. We can put this in. And we can put this in. Okay, we're good to go. What do these guys want? And we'll cross here is going weird for a second. We'll just leave them as a option. Actually, the first thing I want to do is let's visit our allies that we haven't talked to for a while and see if they have anything different for sale. Maybe we'll get lucky and they'll have a repair kit for sale. Daytime so we can take some shortcuts. I also don't care about being quiet, since our allies can deal with any zombies we encounter. Hey there, stranger. Come on in. Locked. They locked the door. I don't want to waste too much time, though, because we want to spend our daylight while we have got great visibility. Getting these plague guards. Not plague guards, these infestations. They got a chemistry, they got gasoline. Oh, now we're being interrupted by a zombie. What else is new? But I could tell from looking that they do not have a repair kit. They have ammunition, though. Don't have what we're looking for, but we're keeping tabs on them. Okay, back to what we were doing. Objective infestation. We should be able to get kind of kill two birds with one stone anyway, since killing the infestation should also give us some influence. Both from clearing it and from a little bit of change from killing the screamer.
Did see me. Silence this zombie. All right. So, for, so, so this is really weird. Like, why are the, uh, the infestation, the population of the infestation is not staying indoors like they normally would? I hope I can hit him even with him wigging out like that. So that should be the screamers down. Yes, it is. Go ahead and silence this one. I'm going to take shots at the ones where the arrows are going to pass through them and hit the wall. They should be easier to recover. I'm in a bit of a jam here. Anyone out there available to help? Give me that double headshot. Yes. Let's just finish this guy off. Actually, he's turning around. What? Uh, it wasn't a direct hit. Huh. Or it was a direct hit, but it wasn't a... Can rest a lot easier. That's unfortunate. None of the arrows were salvageable. Uh, maybe because it hit a... concrete surface. Maybe that wall counts as, like... Arrow destroying wall. Right away. We've got a survivor back where we were who wants help. That's fine. This character's wits is very close to max, so. Yeah, one more star and we'll be at maximum wits, so I'm gonna try to get stealth kills where I can. Don't wanna go too slow though, since we're burning daylight. Let's remove the cursor so I don't confuse myself, and then see what this guy wants. I hear a blood plague juggernaut. But we've got a community here, so it shouldn't be a problem. He's not on the radar. Let's see what this guy wants. He got separated from his group, so it means his group is probably infested. Watch out, Juggernaut! Oh boy! Go get immunities help. Good opportunity for influence, though. So I would prefer it if they. Uh, Stayed away. You can see when the Juggernaut pounds, he releases a cloud of plague. samples, and I'll take that 100 influence. Got an achievement. Fly your freak flag. Earned 1,000 influence from killing freaks. I'll take it. Obviously a... Uh, Choose your own apocalypse achievement since I have more than earned a thousand influence in the base game. 
Got a screamer in that horde, but we will drive much too far away for that to matter. Is this the house? Yes, it is. I've got a nice deal for you folks if you want to meet up. Got a red talon trader. Okay, so it looks like his house is infested. These infestations cleared away. Oh, that was very... Man, they're just giving them to me. I know people are going to say, you got it easy. Like, ah! People are going to get on my case. People are going to get on my case. Uh, let's see what... He knows music. This is really annoying. We need somebody who has... We really need somebody that I can teach them gardening, but what can we do? So what is going to happen is if I can find another person, I might kick this guy out. If I can get someone else. You know what? Since I don't completely value this guy, let's just continue on. He'll just help me. Like, I basically just want this guy to access the new house, but we're 200 influence off from it anyways. That car looks functional. I'm gonna check its trunk, because sometimes you get a, uh... Oh. Sometimes there's a repair kit in trucks. Or, uh, not any vehicle, really. I'll take that. Okay, this looks like a much more normal infestation. One of the screamers down. Surprised it's screaming at such a distance. Okay, let's see if anything behind us heard it. Ah, wow, look at the, are those guys. Did those guys hear it? That'd be a pretty crazy distance if they did. Ooh, that's gonna leave a mark. Okay, let's see if we can get the Screamer. Support beam is in the way. Now the bushes are in the way. Did not get a clean shot. Okay. Oh, he didn't continue walking. I'll take the double headshot. That actually was not it. That was clearly not a hit, but bullet magnetism, which is a fairly common mechanic in casual shooter games or games with casual shooting mechanics is bullet magnetism is basically where they kind of just give you the headshot, even if it wasn't genuinely a headshot. The game that I know that's probably the most famous game for it is Halo. Which, uh, I don't particularly agree with just because... Or maybe, I don't know, maybe about... Halo, is Halo really an esports game? Basically, I don't think you should have bullet magnetism in esports. Like, really competitive games. Because then it's less of a... You're taking some of the... Skill out of the game. But if it's a more casual shooter, then it really doesn't matter. Just because that smooths out the gameplay, but... Or perhaps they could do it based on game mode, where some game modes have stronger bullet magnetism, some game modes don't. Interesting subject, though, I think. This guy's not helping me at all. Thank you. 
Let's loot this place while we're here. Mental note. Don't get killed today. I brought all those distractions, and in the end, we didn't need them. Let's keep looting. Hoping to get ammunition. Maybe someone would want this. Wait, wait, I'm gonna do it. Watch, watch. I'm gonna give him the rucksack. There, are you guys happy? Are you happy that I use the give rucksack command? Giant wooden crate. Give me something good. Classic crossbow. I would actually prefer that over the standard crossbow. Let's go ahead and consume those pills. And equip the classic crossbow. Doesn't have the zoom in, but now the arrows will not pass through them. I mean, it has... I mean, we have been getting multiple headshots, so maybe there is an argument for the other one, but no sign of creepers here. this will make recovering the bolts more realistic. Ooh, a weapon case. We're gonna have something good in it, I I feel it. And it had three light bolts. I can't remember the name. Still taste those nachos, though. Damn. Back to the vehicle. So now we can't zoom in, but the bolts no longer pass through the targets, meaning that if they are salvageable, they're going to be right where their corpse is. Actually, let's assassinate this guy since we're close to maxing our wits. Put it in. Yes. Take this. Put it in. Go ahead and put some of the heavier stuff in. Just so that we can get out of heavy carry. Got some good shit for you. Oh, that's right. We had the wandering trader. Where is he? What? Where's my thing is going crazy? Okay, so he's kind of out of the way. Let's go ahead and drop this guy off first. Man, this car really fishtails. We need about 160 points in order to get to the next base. Heard of feral, but doesn't matter in the car. Running out of daylight, so I guess that... One infestation gets to live another day. New infestation. Once I kill enough of them, they'll calm down. I know that for sure. They just keep wanting to generate. Got a bloater in the vicinity. The fuel economy on this vehicle has been pretty decent. I'm overall, I think the starting vehicle is pretty good. The only thing holding us back is the fact that we can't drive too aggressively with it due to the repairs need necessity for repair kits. Take the five influence. My arrow back. This is it. Welcome home. Thanks. Okay. A lot. I won't let you down. Hello. Look, our community is empowered. What's up with this? All these people love the Watchtower. Damn, we're getting a ton of it from the uh, the Watchtower. Put this in. Do we have room for that? Yes, we do. We have room for both. Oh, I should probably drop this stuff off. 
That was a big sack of ammo, too. It gave us six units of ammo. Okay, we don't need these anymore since they're not destroying any infestations for now. Let's go ahead and repair first. And I didn't bring a backup weapon, so let me go ahead and do that. Bring my machete. Do we have anything to sell? That's actually a good question. Looks like the answer is no. Oh, nothing to sell. Our main goal is to change bases, so we're probably not going to buy anything, but unless he's selling something that's like really, really good. So the infestation is here. That's been an area that's fairly dangerous. There has been numerous bloaters. Like, just this area in general has been very dense with zombie population. But right now it looks a little quiet. Oh, never mind. I heard a plague juggernaut. Second plague juggernaut. Not good. Go a little more of a roundabout way so that we can lose them and not draw any more attention. Driving next to the play guard. Also not good since obviously zombie density is quite high near play guards. Now what we want to do is drive decently far from... I should be careful of plague zombies Damn, another plague guard. This merchant just chose the worst place. Ah, uh, let's try it. To all red talent agents, if you can, keep the supply of the cure on hand while we're in. Let's let him gain their attention. Oh yeah, this is a Red Talon location. Maybe we actually should have lured the Juggernaut here. I forgot that the merchants are Red Talon merchants. Hello there. You're the merchant. Red Talon. Your lives just got a lot better. He's got a lot of the, uh... Oh my god, I think we're gonna have to buy this. I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to buy that. We don't need that, but... This is the heavy-duty ammo press that we need to activate. Yeah, like, there's no way we're passing that. That'd be foolish. That does set us back, though. So we're not as close as we were before to getting to the... Objective. Clinic nearby there. Let's check the clinic. Also another opportunity to max out wits before this character gets fatigued and I have to swap out. Okay. Oh, maybe get some scraps. Gregory has his chunks of flesh back. Bullets are the only cure. Hearts. Hoping for... Yeah, definitely not. Scraps, but... Chop him. More in here. Into that one. Give him the execution treatment. Let's 
snacks. I'm not seeing any more of them. Maybe I'll get an interesting mod like a sanitization. Well, it's time to see what our first. This is going to be our very first advanced skill. Scouting and stealth. I was wondering if I would have to pick between these. Wow, that's a really tough choice. I'm going to think about it in the meantime. A lot of people are like, oh, isn't it obvious that you should pick stealth? But I mean, let's be honest, we've been doing pretty good without stealth. And one of the things we've been doing a ton of is looting and looks like this place is cleared out. food dehydrator. Increases food storage. Let's just That's grab this. Stuff. I don't think we need that, but we can sell it. In fact, let's go ahead and sell that to the Red Talon. So the advantage of scouting is that, you know, might say, oh, well, it just helps you find things faster, but... Given that the main thing slowing us down is finding things faster, I think there is an argument for it. That's going to be, it's going to be a really debated thing, like, regardless of what I pick. If I don't pick stealth, people are, oh, that's, 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 that's what I expect to hear. I wonder if we can get one of those juggernauts to get over here. But he was over there. Mm, 250 meters is a pretty far way to lure a juggernaut. So in order to remove that infestation, we're going to have to drive around the back. Selling that mod, though, that mod was worth uh, 100 influence, so... Softened. Am I stuck? <sighs> Thank you, game. Am I smoking? Bro am I? Am I taking... Okay. Okay, I thought the engine... It is smoking. That that little bump actually did damage to it. Wow. Wow. I'm speechless. Okay, so it looks like it's that... green painted building. That's the infestation. Oh, I still haven't figured out which skill I'm gonna take. So this is what feeling happy is like. Okay, so it looks like they're actually inside. Oh, there's the... Now, this is when the scope would have come in handy, but... Who needs a scope? That was not the Screamer, actually. So now we can confirm that the screamers will scream just because a disturbance occurred. Like you killed one of their zombie buddies. There's the screamer. I can tell because his eyes are a little bit unique looking. There we go. Okay. Oh, that wasn't the head. That was a blood splotch.
I definitely don't aim quite as confidently without the scope, but... I really like not having... I, I It's going to improve our ammo recovery, since I'm too lazy to go search for shots that go too far. Of course, he moves. Okay, we have to fire a shot to break the... Actually, I want to get on this... Gave me a little bit of elevation. First shot breaks the glass. Ugh. Even if they hear that, we have thinned them out pretty sufficiently. Let them come out. Good, now we get them all out into the open. And if I had my Echo X3 repeating crossbow, much easier. Much easier. Oh, stop. Just didn't continue walking. You know what? I'm just going to trigger everybody and go at scouting. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for it in the comments section. Like, oh my god, you chose, like, scouting over stealth? Okay. Ah, oh, darn. This is a place we had already looted. How close are we on shooting? Fighting and shooting are both actually very close. Not getting a lot of bolts recovered, unfortunately. Was uh, too much. Not enough of an overshot. Got to aim a little bit ahead. That was a little too much ahead. Went right past his nose. Shoot that bloater for a quick ten influence. Of course, he moves. Okay. Let's stop wasting ammo. Wow, this guy's really far away. This thing is up to three... Three... Screamers. Thing has to go. That thing has to go. Not tonight, though. It's too dark. We're not going to risk it when there's a large infestation. On top of that, it's also a plague heart right next door. Not going to happen. Not tonight, at least. Let's not run these rocks over. Or we'll run them over gently. Looks like the car is back to steaming instead of having... The black smoke, which I'll assume is an improvement. Put the medicine in. Looking good, my friend. Put this stuff away. I think what I'm going to go do is repair this, and I'm going to try to get these levels real quick. Wait, I need to repair. That's what I was going to do. Repair. Salvage weapon remains. And we're like, what? Four star. We're six star in fighting and... Uh, Six star in shooting. We might as well try to finish it up. Don't tell me the entire neighborhood is empty.
Doesn't help that it's dark and hard to see. Cardio's almost leveled up. Just give me my seven star skills. I already know what I'm going to name this episode. I'm going to name this episode Scouting versus Stealth. Just to maximize the conflict. I guess while we're here, we can loot these houses as well. Okay, here's a decent number. These. Okay, shooting is now maxed out. How's that job you were working on coming? Gunslinger, definitely gunslinger. That is one of my favorite skills. Get in here and try to get fighting to the max. There's a screamer close. Screamer. Surprisingly peaceful around our house. No hordes or anything. Like, this feels like standard zone in terms of zombie population. We might actually find something good in here. Oh, that's right, we can detect zombies now. I was hoping to get him. We did get him, though. So I believe we can't detect loot until... I believe that's the seven-star skill. Nothing. Let me see what we got. Enemy detention range. Search speed. Yeah, right now we just have the detection range. We have to get the skill to the max before we can actually well, I don't hear anything detect our loot. Hmm. Not exactly Chemicals. For. Those come in handy. Wonderful. Medical supplies, I'll take them. So, I was thinking about Stave Decay 1. One of the skills that we don't have anymore is Leadership Envelope. We can sell that. Leadership was a skill that you leveled up by bringing AI companions with you. And it wasn't a skill that came standard. It was basically a rare skill that your character either had it or they didn't. Let's see if the last lootable is outside. Here it is. Another skill they didn't make it into, State of Decay 2, is two-handed weapons. There used to be, I think, I forget, I forget what their exact name, if they were called, like, giant weapons or something, but the point is that they had this skill called, like, Big ass weapons, and they were awesome. They were my favorite weapons, without a doubt. They would be stuff like a two handed lumberjack's axe or something like that. Like, they'd have like giant two handed sledgehammers. Those were my favorite weapons. Mysterious broadcast. What made them so awesome was that they could sweep through many targets. All right, now my character's finally getting really tired. Didn't bring the car with me, so if we find any bulk items, we'll have to come back for them later. Seeds. Can't 
I don't think it was different about State of Decay 1 was the suppressor mechanic. In this game, the suppressors are indestructible. In State of Decay 1, they were not. They had a certain quantity of uses, and so the quality of the suppressor determined how many times you could fire it before the suppressor would break. I think the low end was like 10 shots, and the high end was 50 shots. There's not really anything else to find here. Okay. One of the weapons I do miss from State of Decay 1 was they had a landmine that was also a... Oh, there we go. Let's see what we get. Let me crouch first. Endurance swordplay. That was a quick one for me. Endurance actually might be pretty good in this game mode, given that... It does help you deal with your injuries better. Oh, I already got that... turnaround slash from swordplay, but... Hey folks, we sure would appreciate some help over here. Gosh, we're getting a lot of radio contacts. A lot of people who want our help. Can we fit medicine? Yes, we can. This character put in a lot of work today. This feels like the right place for me. Let's repair, unless that thing is still crunching up our weapons. Yes, it is. So let's just have her switch to this. We'll put this one in. Give this weapon back and let her use the BFG. And now we'll switch to a different character. Let's see what his is. He's extremely competitive, so he's irritable towards other people, which means that one of these people is not going to get along. Nomadic, nomadic sleeper and noise irritable community members. But this guy does not have the skills I want, so that's even more an argument for him to get kicked out at some point in time. But this guy's the next closest to gaining some skills, so let's go ahead and use Eric. We've got about 17 minutes left in this episode, so I guess we're going to spend the remainder helping people. Um... I believe the fuel tank is still left in the car. Although I think we're going to use the fuel tank or the gas canister. One of these days, I might just off screen, just go in and just run my characters around in circles for an entire day, just max out their cardio, basically. And let me double check the trunk. Yes. Okay, so what's our situation? That guy's super far away. Okay, first we'll do the mysterious broadcast. Um, I guess we'll take the short, the direct route, the shortcut route. We'll have to drive more carefully. That horde has been there for a while. I don't like this area right here, like these farming fields, because the vehicle keeps getting stuck, so I'm going to intentionally avoid that. Especially because we had a Feral on us, and the Feral could have easily ripped the car door off. A bloater, hopefully he doesn't hit me. The fishtail actually came in handy there. I want. What? 
First, let's see what he has to sell. Yeah, sure. Got materials. Apparently, someone else wants materials. Okay, I know what this mission is. This is that mission where we gotta, like, sneak and find that person. I actually wonder how hard this mission is on Nightmare difficulty, because on regular difficulty... So the way this mission typically works is they're going to give us some scent block to use. And they're going to be like, oh man, like there's a whole bunch of zombies nearby. Better use the scent block. But normally what you can do is just get in the car and drive away before anything actually gets to you. And that means you can keep the scent block. So I wonder if that's the case here. Okay, so this is where our survivor is. You hear me? Get the getaway vehicle really close. Let's actually check out these garages as well. Because we really need a repair kit. Nicked me. Oh, I got a lucky one hit. Damn. Four hits, even without his arm. And we get the super slow execution that I hate. Gotta make sure it's I can't catch my breath. Let's check the trunk of this car first. We haven't seen a repair kit in a little while. I really want a repair kit. Parts. Plenty of parts, but no repair kit. Damn. Gonna have potentially ammo. Very likely to have ammo, actually. Might find something good here. Ammo case, we can sell that. Exotic ammo. Probably never use that. That's useful. Probably sell the ammo case. It's not worth a whole lot, though. I think it's worth like 30-ish influence. A pipe bomb and a grenade. This in. This in. And now let's check the other garage or this shed or whatever it is. Gonna have chemicals or parts or nothing. Oh wait, no, it's not a drum, it's a little container, a little, like, micro-duffel bag. Okay, so, no dice on that. Time to get searching. I guess we should search the house before we go as well. Parts. Keep those weapons repaired. Parts. Feels like I'm playing multiplayer with getting all these parts. See, it's a bundle of six. That's pretty good. If we had a guy who could learn gardening, at least. Looks like the zombies must be busy eating somebody else. I got nothing. Nothing. Where's the last collectible at? 
Maybe outside the house? I don't think I can go much longer without a rest. Interesting. Where is that last one at? Oh, here it is. I know someone earlier was asking for a way to disable the blinking lootables. Interesting, I had never asked, heard anyone ask for something like that before. He said it was damaging the immersion of the game, which I guess I could see that. I imagine that. Okay, we got a lot of fucking zombies out there. I got something to tell you. Grab this thing. No I really thought we could be friends, but I guess not. We'll just have My to go another town. I have to drop something. Hmm. I sell anything to you? Oh my gosh. We have to drop some let's drop the firecrackers. Can I imagine that? Okay, we got a lot let's of fucking zombies out there. Get in here real fast. Drive away. Yeah, it works exactly like standard mode. Let's remove that. So we weren't able to... Let's drive laterally to the field. That should also prevent us from getting stuck, because I'm sure that Feral has not despawned. If you're wondering why I'm driving like this, it's because there's these little humps, like this right here, there's little humps. And if I drive with the hump rather than across it, then I'm not going to get stuck, but... If I drive across it, I run the possibility of getting stuck, and there was a feral there last time. Unfortunately, we were not able to respond to one of those missions, but some of them were just too far away, so... Cleaning station or scent block. Cleaning station is actually really useful. Nowhere for that to go. Oh my gosh, I gotta put something. And there is another shed-like area nearby, so we will check that out. Oh, let's just put anything in there. It doesn't really matter. Better not have to run carrying all this. Cleaning station does is allow us to, here we go, let's just read it. Includes a wash basin and cleaning supplies. Install this mod in an infirmary to improve recovery from partial blood plague infection. Yeah, helps us stay on our feet. Blood plague infection hasn't been too big of a deal, but still a good idea to have at least one copy of it. Because who knows, maybe blood plague will become a big deal. This place could come in real handy as an outpost. Weapon reports. Weapon remains, rather. Pull up, so that means I will have to put something else in the truck if we do find something good. Materials. Nope, still no repair kit. I see a lot of zombies coming in. Zombies are attacking our base. What size will the attack be? Just small attack, so basically free influence. Mark our base. Plenty of sheds still. The more opportunities to find repair kits, but. I can, is this guy just standing here? Maybe I can buy him from him now? And I can't even respond to him. Okay. I guess he's a little introverted. Another infestation has been generated.
where the feral is. We're almost home, so it's not even a big deal. How much influence do we have? Back up to 619. Kill that. Screamer, get my quick five influence. My bolt back. Get a little bit of cardio EXP. Put any of this in. Put the ammo in. That really put us the ammo. Okay, no, we're at exactly ammo cap. Okay. Let me see if I can activate anything before. Oh, I see. We're using the uninstall that. Actually, let's not promote the. I don't know if that's actually a thing, but if we make more noise, it might promote the zombie horde up higher. Pull this in. Get an automatic gun. In case something, just in case an emergency occurs. Faster firing. More chance of headshots. Gets an instant weapon that has an instant rate of. The whole damn base is surrounded by zombies. Rather get a healing item that is instant in case I do get banged up. Historically, all of the... So this thing might actually be a problem, because if you think about it, the shooting vantage of this, it can't shoot the... Our sniper can't fire through the building, so it could actually be bad. When you get shot with that 50 caliber, you just go flying back. Got lucky. Let's figure out so like I said, free influence, an extra 50. Oh, we got an organic horde attacking now. Got the horde icon, but extra twenty influence will take it. Hordes are just giving us free influence with the power of our BFG. Well, I think that about does it for this episode. Let's go somewhere nice for the camera ending. Look at these thematic candles we got going here. So. What did we do today? We leveled up some skills, we cleared out the infestations, though more of them were generated. We got the... let's plug it in, actually. Let's plug it in. The heavy-duty ammo press so that we can actually make 50 caliber ammunition to enable the B-50FG. Morale is good. We've got one guy who he's just kind of here to get us in the next base, but he's probably going to get kicked out when I get somebody better. Overall, I don't think it's going to be too much longer before we're going to have a new base, we're going to have power at the new base, and once we have power, we're going to be able to build pipe bombs. See, requirement is power. Once we have that, we'll have pipe bombs, and we can start taking the fight to the Zeds. We can start purging the plague Arts and begin making a push for our objective, which is to complete a legacy without any DLC, 
fresh community without re-rolling any of our characters. Just worst case scenario that we can get and doing it. Let me know down in the comments section what you think about some of my skill choices. Keep in mind that I have personally reviewed every single one of the skills, so I don't make these choices at random. Like this video if it was entertaining. Subscribe for future State of K2 content. And remember that you don't have to be good to get good.